we're gonna play mag runner dark pulse um maximum one hour for this game to convince us and show us and whatnot <laughs> so uh audio and video settings are quite basic um Oh yeah, you can uh, you can change the field of view, which is probably something I might do, or not. Um, magnetic colors can be red, blue, or green, red. Uh, left mouse button is red, right mouse button is green, I think. Left is red, right is green. So if, we'll see how this works. Uh, you mean the the uh, the option to turn it blue? Absolutely. I think more games should be aware of accessibility options that are easy, like make text readable. Indie games can do that. Big games, big games oftentimes don't, and I think it's important that it, that it's a thing. Oh yeah, we can uh, also anti-aliasing is a thing here. But yeah, I'm gonna go for uh, red and green, um, and have a look at Mag Runner Dark Pulse. Okay. I am Gamachi, mutant, inventor, scientist. For you to understand, I need to start at the beginning. In the 21st century, the Glukersberg Corporation rose to a position of world dominance. By 2035, their LifeNet total existence network had linked billions of people across the globe, encompassing social, economic, government, private and public services within one monstrous, ever-evolving system. With LifeNet and the corporation's vast financial resources, Grukesber accomplished what governments could only hope for. A worldwide populace that wanted to conform and that was willing to sacrifice privacy for security, safety, and interaction. The CEO, Kram Grukesberg, pooled tens of thousands of scientists together to find a new source of free energy to be used for space exploration. The result was magnetic technology. Grukesberg's space program would be a three-month test of not only Magtech, but also citizen explorers, astronauts chosen from the populace. After worldwide selection trials that tested the applicants' athletic capabilities and knowledge of mathematics, physics, and psychology, seven candidates were chosen to enter Grukesberg's training facility. These seven selected from scientists, athletes, and civilians, would take Grukesberg's technology to the stars. Grukesberg called them his magrunners. A 500,000 square foot training facility filled with puzzles and physical obstacles was built over the San Andreas Rift. The world <laughs> watched and waited. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this young man is Dax C. Dax's father, like me, was an expert in genetics and cybernetics. One of the few who had no compunctions about working with a mutant. James and his wife Lavinia became my closest friends. When the accident happened, Dax was left in my care. I raised the boy the best I could, and he soon began to show signs of his father's brilliance. Dax had an aptitude for robotics, genetics, engineering, he read everything he could about Grukesberg's magtech and began to apply the same principles to creating his own technology. By the time he was 11, he had started his own business, repairing and creating new devices. By the time he was 15, he had built and programmed the Newton prototype, a one-of-a-kind electromorph robot. So I suppose that I shouldn't have been surprised when he told me on his 23rd birthday that he wanted to apply for the Krukersberg Magtech program. He had the skills, and he had the brain for it. As we completed work on his custom maglav, I knew he was ready. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, so much for lots of text and exposition for something that's probably very simple. But it's a puzzle game, so it's it's also maybe not so simple. Uh, ah, that should be alright. So, Mag Runner. Let's have a look around. My friends, thank you for joining us today. Today, Grukasper Magtech is proud to unveil our space exploration training facility. Today is the first day of a three-month training program that'll prepare our mag runners for space exploration. At our facility, they will not only experiment with magtech, but also learn to work and live together as they forge our future. Now, let's hear a few words from Xander Deverin. The creator of the facility and genius MagTech engineer. I've spent considerable time and energy designing the testing facility with functional examples of our new technology. During training periods, contestants will find their bodies and minds pushed to the limits. We will see what they can accomplish individually and later what they are capable of as a group. Be sure to stay online mm. to see History in the Making. Brought Cyber to legs. you by the same minds responsible for the LifeNet. After a quick briefing, our seven mag runners are preparing to enter the facility for the first time. It's almost showtime, Dax. You ready for this? I'm nervous, Kamaji. I made it here. Now the real Kamaji. training starts. The Mag Runners training will be the most important three months of their lives. They will pit their skills and wits against the brilliant Mag Tech engineer, Xander Deveran, who will evaluate their progress. We've been allowed into the facility for the first 24 hours, and we're bringing it to you live via LifeNet. Don't be nervous, Dax. Stay focused. And remember why you're here. Newton and I will be following on the life net. He says good luck. You know, Gamaji, we're talking about going into space if I pass the training. It's hard to believe. If your parents were here, I know they'd be very proud of you, as I am. Be sure to test out the new mag club before you start. Ready, Xander? Ready. Let's begin. Good luck, Dax. Right. Stay focused. Yeah, that was a very long introduction, right? Objects with the same color charge will attract each other. See, that was the important information, and now it's gone. Thanks, fast loading uh, game. Welcome to the state of the art, Mag Runners. Xander's really outdone himself with this facility. We hope you enjoy this miracle of Mag Tech modularity. <laughs> okay, cool. But, you know, I picked this up because it has a cool puzzle idea, not because it has an awesome introduction. <laughs> oh, did I have a, like, a goal? track the other from more distance as soon as you pick it up it loses its uh ah, okay I was, I was supposed to hit that with the cube i see it worked out view an object's magnet if you press f okay the crocus for mag tech experience Brought to you live by LifeNet. That wasn't so bad, Gamaji. How are the other mag runners doing? Don't get too confident. That's just the beginning. Three months is a long time. And they will interact if they are completely within each other's field. Look at this tech. How did Xander ah. develop this stuff? 
Just focus on your training. I'm going to limit our transmissions to the elevators between levels. There's less interference. Magnetized objects are powerful enough to lift you up. I'm supposed to get there. Uh huh. Okay. Over here. So I can put that there. Make it. <laughs> nice. Okay. This is cool. Right? This is a cool idea. I love it. Dax, Cassandra Shin from LifeNet Media. Can you give us a few thoughts about today? How do you feel about being the only Magrunner without outside corporate funding or professional training? Do you think you're at a disadvantage? What? Yeah, right. I have a trainer. That would be the mutant we've heard about, Gamaji. Yeah. Sorry, Mission. I have to go. <laughs> Was an interesting uh, thing. Yeah, like Paul, but different. Welcome back, Koyatek. Wiggles. Welcome back, guys. Mouse wheel does work. But uh, Q is okay to zoom. And maybe I can change it to the mouse button. That would be, would be awesome. Uh, zoom. Can't change that to the mouse button for that's all right. So, what's our goal? We need to get to this sign, right? That's our goal. There's a cube there. We can polarize this. Yeah, and we can send it back and forth. We can also set it to neutral again. Um, so if we get up... Up where? Where do we want to get on? I guess that platform would work. Huh? From that platform to that. And then we can go and, and go back on the, on the trajectory here. Let's make you neutral again. Okay, let's pick this up. Right. Oh, I thought it would it would get me uh, upward. I could try to um, make make this attract the cube right let's go on neutral here make make that red and that as well oh no the other way around leave it here so it can pull up the cube right <coughs> maybe that's enough to get me there That stays red, and I'm gonna stand on this and make it green. No, it's not happening. Right, now I've got two cubes. Oh yeah, I can use one as a, uh, yeah, of course. I can use it as a uh, catapult, so. You go back for a minute and now I'm on the platform <laughs> okay right and now we um, repel right and stop but I can't jump over there can I uh, let's make that neutral <clears throat> it doesn't attract it. Okay. No, I can't jump that far. <clears throat> so where was the problem with my thinking then? 
Feel free to chime in with uh, with ideas. Whoops. We want to check this out together, right? Or maybe I'm not supposed to jump onto this platform, but directly onto that one. Stopped it too late. <laughs> yeah, but it can stay there. I think I can move the cubes and then that's easier. I hope it's I just hope it's high enough. I'm not sure if it will uh go that high. Marker on the floor. But why can't I move that then? Is that just a distraction? Weird. Yeah, I guess so. Not a fan. That's too early for distractions. Like the third explanation. <laughs> Did you feel like an underdog during the selection trials? These loading screens will get on my nuts soon. They're all underdogs, Miss Shin. The training is discovery-based, and I will not tolerate less than 100% commitment to the program. Look, Miss Shin, I have the same chances as the other Just a distraction, rude. I don't see why you keep... Same chances? <laughs> oh, of, of course, of course. <laughs> Right. I'll tell you what, Dax. How about an exclusive interview and the front page of LifeNet Science Online? Uh, sure. Yeah. Right, we know that we need to shoot the cube into that. From down there. have a look around um i mean if if the creative way is always a distraction and this is always the way to go i wonder why i should play it could be that it's still considered the tutorial oh this guy Let's go high enough. We can't pick this up. Could be that I need to shoot it from here to the other thing. It goes over here. Uh, 
How do I break that? It shows a cube, but maybe maybe I can break it. I thought I might give it more speed by letting it fall faster, but it just displaced this. So it's just a snap on uh, drop help and not a snap on uh, keeps there. Can I change that maybe? No, that doesn't get magnetized. The floor red, the middle green. Why? Double float on this one here. Oh yeah, honesty is appreciated. I thought about getting myself up there, but um, I really hope that picture is not a distraction. What was the button to view the polarities again? Okay, so they would pull each other in. If the magnetic fields overlap, there's an interaction. But I think the tutorial said something about how much they uh, overlap. Uh, no, I did drop <laughs> because nice solution. I did drop from the um, from the stairs. There's no way to walk back up. Thinking outside the box is very awesome, but we can't get up there. There's an extra room over the floor panel, yes, but I think that's um, that's a force field kind of thing. Oh, that that you mean that is correct yeah that is correct nice observation um oh we can't get that high Uh, the double float idea. Uh, can I throw things if I have them? I can just place them down, so that's not going to help. I can't magnetize that. And then it gets attracted to that. I, I like how smart the idea is to make a puzzle game with magnetism, but I don't like the the challenge level here. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, it's... I don't know. Get a cube through there. That's the that's thing. It needs to go into the blue ball. There's a glass between it. We need to break that.
need to get to the extra room, then use the double boost. What do you mean with double boost? Like put them both uh, put them both on red or you think there's something extra in the other room? Oh, the thing is, I, I can't get that high and I can't move the panel. So they are not interacting when they are this far from another one another. If I make the lower one red, uh, let's see. You can make it. it doesn't do enough. The switch to the door. Well, you guys have to help. You, you you can't just say things out of context that I can't. I don't understand what you're talking about. You need more words. Ignore the switch. What's the switch? You mean the the blue thing up there? You think the solution is up there? It's worth a shot. I can do the cross last. Okay. That's the double boost you meant. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. I just didn't understand... You don't need, you didn't need to write the whole solution into the chat. I didn't understand what you meant with ex ignore the switch. <laughs> ah, there's a third cube here. Okay, so awesome spotting uh, uh, skills wiggles. And a good solution for your tech. Nicely done. Nicely done. Kill this. Oh, you're a green one. You're a green one, and now double power breaks the glass. <laughs> so smart smart game smart games hard right Gamaji, are they mm. off the calm? Yes. There's something wrong with that Xander guy. Don't listen to him. And what did that reporter mean by that mutant? Yeah. She's kind of a pain, huh? She's just digging for an interview to make Grukesburg look good. Keep your head on. Uh, is this part of the training? Does it have portal-like qualities as in... Is everyone alright? No injuries? Bios are good, Xander. What happened? A minor power fluctuation, Mr. Krukusper. I've ensured that it won't happen again. What's up there? We want to have a look. Okay, you can walk on these. And there's another cube here. 
You can also construct new cubes. Which destroys the old one. They're falling damage. No. Hey Cassiopeia! Welcome! It's been long since you played this. I'm looking at it for the first time today and it's certainly not letting you in easy this game, is it? But I think it's um it's a smart it's a smart idea. I wanted to see what they do with um, magnetism and puzzles. So oh, okay, so if you want to keep it down, you need to attract it. It goes up on its own, which is a bit weird, isn't it? Right, let's see. We've got a magnetic field here if we want to. We probably need to get a cube over there. Oh, this looks like it could propel us. Let's have a look. Yeah, the pod was awesome. This is uh, is a different beast though, isn't it? I like a lot of the things they do. Um, but they they didn't manage what portal did uh, portal had a better entry level challenge um not that portal did start you out easy but they went a bit slower with the complexity um so the, the, this this game is not pulling those punches it's just directly i think one two tutorial and then the, the first harder to crack knot is already coming so that goes in there and that pulls the other lift but we want to be on it right we want to be on it so we need to go back down and call ourselves a transportation and go up right we want to be on the platform that goes over there and for that to happen, we need to be high enough to drop onto it. Since we don't have um, falling damage, I think it's safe to say we can just activate it and time it. Oh, missed. <laughs> Again. <laughs> ah, cool. Okay, come down. <laughs> That's probably an easier way, but I like this way. Right, we go up again. <laughs> so, one, two, three. How did I miss that? Come back. <laughs> Lovely. I like I like to have these on. It looks kind of cool. But yeah, Cassiopeia, it's um hey Journey. Um it's kinda cool uh that this uh that this uh, works with the uh, with the magnetism. It's kind of nice. Okay, let's pull it and go. Yeah, we made it. <laughs> oh, I'm good. I'll ask for help when I need some need some help. Um, uh, the countdown. Um, each each game that we look at today um, gets maximum one hour to convince us. How good it is and what it is all about uh, that's what I do on the discovery marathons which happen at least once a month usually sponsored by the community and uh, every four subs or resubs I get uh, I get to show you one more game um, I plan four games per marathon uh, this is game number three so there's one more coming afterwards exclamation mark marathon uh, gives you more information on the games played previously on what's to come i'm glad you like it i think it's a cool cool thing it's a hell of a lot of work but it's worth it there you go there you go uh ladies and gentlemen we've suffered a minor technical glitch but we are now back online that's got a sting grukesburg with a live audience too not exactly a solid recommendation for a new product, no. Hold on, Dax. 
Something's changed in the algorithms that Sanders using to run the story is a bit odd. The system log shows a reboot. What? Gamaji, did you hack into the testing facility? Sanders <laughs> interface is amazing. It integrates all the functions and accessibility Gamaji. of the life net with his biofeedback response to influence the <laughs> yeah, is. Oh, you're gonna get me kicked out. Relax, Dax, I'm masked. He thinks I'm just another peripheral. Uh, oh no. No. He's blocked me. Oh, well, he's got eight appendages, so he's too busy to run a trace. Counts as a spider. <laughs> so yeah, that's the the countdown is one hour per game maximum. Some games I quit fans. earlier. This would be a bad time for the power to go out again. Um, for the for better or worse, uh, there are different reasons for quitting early. Maybe, but he's a mutant, so we don't really know. Okay, there's a propelling device here. Catapult. I don't see a cube yet. Oh, but we could get upstairs and get the cube by hand. Yeah, that's what we do. We can get down again. Nice. Right. And move it. <laughs> yeah, that's any mode. People call it any mode. I'm not sure if they are actually aware of the consequences of putting that emote out. <laughs> There's a story behind the behind? Are you kidding? <laughs> Oh, that's all we get? We want more elevation. Also, how do we attract that one? Oh, that was not good. Ah, I stopped it. Oh, it's interacting with that. Lovely. Okay, so you get back and then it goes higher. Oh, that is cool. Magne magnetism is so freaky. <laughs> magnetism is so freaky. That's wrecking my brain already. Right? So now they interact in a way that makes it easier to go over there. Now we take your charge away, which pushes us back again, right? And now I'm going to make that neutral, otherwise it will probably push me off or something. Um, so now we're going to go over there and pull that down so we can go up. <laughs> awesome. Come here. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Yeah. All right, let's take the charge away. See if that's enough to take us up. It is. Man, this is smart. Oh no, there's a chance I fall off. How unnecessary is that? Does that pull us up? Put us up further? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Whew. Okay, I got the cube. It did save that. Okay, the game did a quick save there. That's, I appreciate that. Right, so let's get the cube uh, to the thing and then catapult us upstairs. Yeah, we can put it there and then uh, go upwards. Pick the cube onto the thing and then it's a long jump. Do you think we can make it? Are we there yet? Okay. <laughs> it worked! Awesome! <laughs> oh, very good. Um, this is not for the faint of heart and brain matter. <laughs> I do like the fact that you um, have those magnetic fields. It's, it's cool. It, it, I think it's a really cool idea. Well done, Daxi Ward. 
Congratulations on being the first one to complete that module. Maybe you're better than I thought. Or maybe you're just lucky. Oh, or maybe you're a freak. Excuse me? I said thanks. Huh. How do How I get... take to build this place? Yeah. Why did they build this place? <gasps> uh, Cassiopeia, have you played um, Cube? Or Q-U-B-E? Both of the games? Because they are similar and brain teasing ones also. Oh, I see. Right. Aha! See, that's how we can uh, aim down there. So we send this higher. And then this should lift off far enough for us. We put a red down there. And now we could possibly... Get both uh, platforms moving up. Like so. And then you get to the cube. Yes! That's kind of cool. Okay, what else? We get the cube. And then we put the cube in there. We need a second cube to shot shoot through this in case of fire burning glass oh yeah the QB QB games are kind of cool they are not on par with portal though limbo uh that's in the backlog <laughs> um i'm not 100 certain what kind of puzzle game limbo is is it the one that works with light and shadow Cool, I'll check it out. Looks weird. Ah, oh, okay. I thought it was there. There's a, there's a one with uh, light and shadow, but that's called something different. Contrast. That was cool. Contrast was cool. Oh, no. I didn't want to... No. Is there a cube? Oh, there's more. There's more. Let's see if it gets us higher or not. No, but it could. Interesting interaction there. <laughs> nice. Okay, so how do I get to that? Oh, I see. I can make it uh, go upwards. Yeah, all right. And then. It make you red. And then it's a ride. Now they are not interacting enough, the, the fields. And... Oh, 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 cube achieved. We got one cube. Mm. I didn't think it would be enough, but it was. So, how do we get that bugger out of there? We could try it with this. Put it very close. Yeah, of course, it's attracted by the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, of course. <laughs> Did it fall all the way down? No, I hope not. Where'd it go? I lost the cube! 
Oh, it's sticking to the platform. All right, come here. <laughs> awesome. Oh no, 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 no! Crap. Okay, put it on the on the thing. Oh no, I fell down. Ah, uh, all is lost. <laughs> okay, first you go up. You you take it, take it with. That works. Okay, come here. Come here. Oh no! I needed it. Mm, I can maybe try again. To pull it. <laughs> come here. I need the cube. <laughs> Awesome. Lovely. Go on, pick it up. Very good. Uh, why doesn't it drop down straight? I don't get that. I think it should. Ah, put it neutral, of course. Ah, oh, I'm such an idiot. Of course, put it neutral. That's how you make it, uh, it drop. Uh... Whoops. Yeah. It's very effective to ride up on a cube. I've never tried that before. <laughs> yeah. It got some L in momentum. I should have I should have sent it to neutral in the first place. That would have been. Uh... So now I want it. Okay. I'm not sure if I can catch it. So I'm gonna let it come to me. Come here, Mr. Cube. <laughs> uh. Oh. <laughs> okay. This is cool. It is. It is an interesting game, isn't it? I mean, this is probably not something I can play for a very long amounts of time. On it on a daily basis. <laughs> so the cube does not defeat the both of the green ones attractions. Just playing around with the magnetic fields is kind of cool already. I don't even I don't even need the puzzles. Cool as they are, right? Because we need to get that. Let's get the stuff back. No. Give me my cube. Okay, we're gonna set the cube to neutral. Can we pick it? No. Yeah, we can. Okay. I put it here. Uh, it's not enough to get it. All right. That drops it all the way down. Do we have access to the thing down there? When we were on the bottom floor? I didn't check. Didn't check if we had uh, access to that. Yeah. Okay, so up with you. <laughs> See, so it's not up and out, it's down and out. I mean, there's probably sneaky, there. Xander. Very sneaky. Yeah, there are probably multiple solutions to this, but. This is one way you can do it. I would agree, it's very sneaky. <laughs> right, so now we've got the two cubes. One. And we should be able to break the glass. Now 
helmets on. And shoot. Yup. No, that worked. Limbo is a 2D puzzler in black and white and grey. Ah, okay. Yeah, changing, changing the game each hour is awesome. It's also a bit, uh, <laughs> a bit, bit, a bit of work. Um, so I'm going to stop here because we know what this is all about. There's, there's uh, probably more, but you will need, we will, you will need to find out on your own. Uh, so if you, if you like what you saw, consider picking up um, Mac Runner Dark Pulse. It's not very expensive. I think it's uh, seven or eight euro. Um, so 